It was an age of giants. George M. Pullman was a self-made tycoon willing to take a chance on a dream. In 1880, he purchased 4,000 acres just south of Chicago. Lake Calumet on the east, Illinois Central Railroad on the west. The perfect place for a commercial utopia. Build factories and a town for the workers. Make the homes comfortable and modern. Fresh air from Lake Calumet. Sunshine, security, good schools, wonderful architecture everywhere. Workers applied by the thousands. Only the best were chosen. Healthy, happy workers to build the world's finest railroad cars and never strike. Walk to the plants together, work together, come home together, go to church together. The same basic pay and the same basic rent. The same food, the same clothes. Fourteen years in a row, Pullman was voted the world's most perfect town. In 1893, the Columbian World's Fair was held in Chicago. Pullman was a major attraction. Scholars from all over the world scrutinized the workers. How was the regimentation in their lives affecting their development? Was it a good life? 1893 was a bad year for business, a depression. Orders for Pullman cars plummeted. Not enough income to pay the expenses. Debt screaming to be paid. George had to tighten his belt. The Pullman workers were given big pay cuts, but their full rent to be paid. Many were working every day and destitute. 1,000 families without food. 2,000 workers laid off and must leave their homes with nowhere to go. And no help from George the benefactor. He had become a feudal lord if someone complained, they were fired. The workers defiantly walked off the job. George locked the doors. A lot of negativity on both sides. Eugene Debs called a nationwide strike in support of the Pullman workers. Many strikers were killed. When order was restored, a large number of Pullman workers had lost their jobs and homes. The love affair had ended. George Pullman became a reviled caricature of an unjust tycoon. Three years later, he was dead. The homes in the town were soon sold off for private ownership. The experiment was over. <laughs>